Okay, shalom, ruchim habayim, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. I'm so excited to see TY Haverim from every corner of the world, from the United States, Israel, and Canada. I think some of you might even be on vacation in Europe. We want you to know that we are delighted that you could make it. I'm Fanny Zacharias Corman, a Judean, and the chair of the board of Camp Tel Yehuda. I was a Hanicha, a Madracha, and a parent of Hanichim and Sevet right here at TY. 75 years is an important milestone for Tel Yehuda. It marks the beginning of our next turning point as we head out on the road to 100. I first came to TY <clears throat> from Puerto Rico on a Hadassah scholarship during our 26th year. I was back here to celebrate the 50th anniversary and well, here we are kicking off what will be an exciting year filled with many opportunities to celebrate together. I plan to be at TY next summer to party hard with you, honoring 75 remarkable years at TY. My most ardent hope is that my children and grandchildren will be here 25 years from now to celebrate 100. My Judean roots are here at Tel Yehuda. It is here that I forged the Jewish and Zionist values that set me on a path to living a Jewish life that is meaningful. This is where 53 years ago, I met my husband, Roger, right in front of the Hadarochel, just before Shabbat, where I learned how to make an impact on the world around me, where we continue to build a community of Haverim that transcends time and space, bound by love of each other and this magical place we call Tel Yehuda. My pride and love for what we accomplished together here at TY is what fuels us to guide the next generations of teens towards a future where we continue to foster love for Israel and the Jewish people, to teach our teens how to affect change and to make our world a better and more just place. The TY experience was, is now, and will continue to be transformational. Thank you, Tel Yehuda, for everything you have given me and my family. Let's all go forward together, l'chaim. We'll now hear from a few of the thousands of lives that TY has touched. There's a magic here. There's something about it. There's an energy in this place and there's a feel to this place that I just, I, I can't compare to anything else I've ever seen before. It's amazing. I'm gonna look back on these summers and just remember how much joy and pure love I feel while I'm here. And it's the best time because of the people. To, to drive into camp, um, you get this feeling inside your stomach right, when you pull up to the gates and you know start pointing to things and you know I did this here and I did this here and you know things change but things remain the same so it, it just it, it just feels good to be here. Uh, TY has been changing lives for 75 years. You know, I've had 25 of those 75 and uh, I, I, it's just an incredible milestone and really it's the beginning of the next 25 years and into 100. TY75 is a great way to formalize something that we already know about TY, which is this intergenerational uh, bridge that exists here. And you, you walk around TY and, and you're engulfed with the history always, um, and, and you see these names on the walls and you see these stories in the buildings. TY is 75 years old, and I'm proud to say that I was here so long ago and that my children are here, and God willing, my grandchildren will get here. I love TY because of the things that it gives to the kids. I've watched the growth here and the friendships that I've made. Like, you know, Randy and I, we were each other's first friends in 1977 and have kept in contact for most of the last 45 years. Shirts, come on. Oh, just... the tea. <laughs> yeah. I was Sherry Perlman. Right. Right. It's not my high school reunions, my college reunions, it's the camp reunions. I love TY because it creates community, um, it creates joy. It empowers our chanichim, our campers, to enact change. I met my wife in Young Judea, yes. We were campers together and went back as staff and uh, started dating, and now we have three Young Judea kids ourselves. I've been involved in Young Judea for like almost half my life, I think, and it's really like given me everything. It's such a unique experience. I'm here in camps for three decades, since the beginning of the 90s, as a, a music specialist. My responsibility here is not just to do great music, Israeli music. It's to be a shaliach. It's eventually to be the face, the body, and the spirit of Israel here in our camp, and also to hold together with the people here the bridge between 
our people here and to the people of Israel. It just so happens that I am a rabbi, so my first steps as a Jewish leader came here at TY. I, I look forward to coming here every single year. It's uh, the people here, there's, there's no one like them. There's, there's nowhere like this. I, I feel at home the second I walk through the, I come through those gates. TY is at a transformational moment in its life and in the life of the American Jewish community. And we see a vital path forward for the next 25 years on our road to 100. And we're going to celebrate all year, all the way until next summer, because 75 years is worth a year-long celebration. And there are tens of thousands of people who have come through this camp, and I know they all want to celebrate with us. All right. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Michelle Freed. It is amazing to be with all of you today. I began my own camp journey back in 2000 as a camper at CYJ Midwest um, and then went on to be a Hanicha at TY, where I was immediately hooked by the energy of being surrounded with my peers, not only from my region, but across the entire country and really the world. Um, and so I kept coming back to TY even after a Hanicha as a Madricha and then even went on to be a counselor on Machon to be able to still be with all of my Hanichim from TY as well as they continued on their journey too. Now eventually after so many summers at TY I got to a place where I couldn't spend my entire summer there but I was fortunate enough to be invited to come back year after year to lead the Yachad, the, the teens who are 15 going into their sophomore year, um, their special interest week bike trip, where I got to spend a week riding 100 beautiful miles on the edge of the Catskills um, with just the most incredible teens and counselors getting to have a taste of the magic of TY on the weekend and the surrounding areas on the bike trip as well. Now for me, camp has always just been a place where I and really those around me are able to be our most full and authentic selves and also be challenged to grow in ways that are both really full of fun and also deeply meaningful. It's a place where I've been able to just feel free and have a great time and also a place to learn more deeply about myself, community, and how to show up in ways that can help really make the world a better place. And doing that, whether that's overcoming the steep hills on a bike trip, right, or advocating on Capitol Hill in Hadracha as well. And doing all of this while making amazing connections and friendships with incredible people from across the country and around the world. I'll also want to say that while TY has certainly played a special role in my life personally, it's also been a bit of a freed family affair. My parents came here back in the 70s with their own stories and amazing friends who we got to know and love as well, some of whose kids are actually my friends now as well. And my brother and sister were a huge part of my TY family too. Any summer I got to spend with my siblings at TY was always a summer that we would undeniably grow closer. And doing the math a little bit before coming here, I realized that there were 17 consecutive summers from 2003 to 2019, where at least one of us were a chanich or chanicha, or a counselor, or in some way working at camp too. It's really truly our second home across our family too. Now, I've been lucky enough to continue my journey over many, many years at TY and have had an opportunity, like I said, to go back summer after summer after summer. But for those of us who hadn't had the chance to really get back to Berryville in a while, right, whether it's been a couple of years or a couple of decades, you may often find yourself wondering, what, is, what does TY really look like today? We see some of these backgrounds, right, but what does it really look like? And so as much as things have changed around the campus, there's also so much that stayed the same. So let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tell Yehuda. I thought we'd go take a ride around your old stomping grounds. Come on, join me in the golf cart. I'm sure you all remember from opening day that feeling, coming down the hill, knowing you're back at Tell Yehuda. Here we are, coming into Olive, passing the office, coming up on the brand new Sifriah, 
just opened in summer 2019. Many of you remember the building that was built in 1865. Well, here is its newest version, filled with Chanichim upstairs and Madrachim downstairs. How many of you lived in this staff building or in those bunks as we drive through the valley of Tel Yehuda? You might see that familiar Chadarocha on the right. Of course, now it's all white as we've just redone the outside before we get ready next year to start redoing the inside. And of course, the classic Beit Am. We'll come back to there in a moment. There's our brand new Kfar Omanu, our five new art villages that we opened just a few years ago. And our aquatic center, which we just opened in 2008. And the famous Mel Center. Yeah, Mel, you remember him. Welcome to Bet. Here we go. into MH Bet or MA Bet as you might recall it. The tents are down these days. We're hoping to rebuild them very soon. Right in front of us you see the Rikud Pavilion. Rikud still the most important thing that happens at Tell Yehud on Saturday nights. And passing there on our left our new Lara's Place. One of our beautiful new Midra sites. And here we are now, back at our Beit Am, our most historic site at Tel Yehuda. And in a few minutes, we're all going to go back inside there. We'll see you there in a few. Yes, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is David Feller, and like so many folks here today, I'm another one of those YJ lifers. <clears throat> I started at Camp Sprout Lake in the early 90s, which by the way is where my two older daughters are today. And I continued on to spend my summers as a chanich at Tel Yehuda in the late 90s. Young Judea brought me to Israel for the first time in my life on Machon in Israel in 1997. <clears throat> my high school winters were anchored by Empire Young Judea, Merchav Pisgah Young Judea, and National Young Judea. Though it was those formative summers at Tel Yehuda where I learned how to think critically, how to act on my convictions and, and truly think like a leader, how to love Israel, and where I solidified the kind of person I wanted to become. After going on your course in 1999, I came back to TY as a madrich. And throughout all those years, whether as a chanich or on sevet, Tell Yehuda was far more than a physical space. Tell Yehuda always has been and remains a powerful and dynamic community. I often share that I had such a great experience on your course in 1999 that I decided to, to do it again. And I returned to be a madrich for your course in the year 2004. It was that very special year where my co madricha Roni became my best friend and my future wife. Put simply, Tel Yehuda and Young Judea have given me and my family more than I ever could have imagined. It was a few years later when Roni was on staff here at Tel Yehuda that I picked her up for a day off and I asked her to marry me. Maybe you can all guess, who were the very first people we celebrated our engagement with? Of course, it was our family here at Tel Yehuda. That was one Shabbat I will certainly never forget. TY is far more than a physical space in upstate New York, and it is far more than just a camp. And I'm sure I speak for all of us 
here today, when I say that Tell Yehuda is a very special community. This family extends beyond the borders of states and countries. And as we see here today, the TY family includes so many dedicated and passionate folks from decades prior. Not to mention, let us also think about and celebrate the countless teens whose lives are yet to be changed. L'chaim to tell Yehuda. My name is Adina Friedman, and I'm the CEO of Young Judea Global. In the Talmud, we learn that those who save one life save an entire world. On the occasion of this milestone anniversary for TY, we celebrate that over the past 75 summers, we have transformed the lives of not one, but over 10,000 campers across multiple generations. Each camper represents a single life that will go on to inspire dozens of others to live joyfully Jewish lives, seek out and build diverse communities, deeply connect to Israel, and commit themselves to leading change in the Jewish community and around the world to another 75 years and thousands of lives transformed. Mazal tov. Mike Berman. I was at Tel Yehuda in the 1970s, loved every minute of it. The total of 12 weeks I spent at TY shaped my life and of so many others. I live in Tel Aviv now. L'chaim to Tel Yehuda. Looking forward to many more generations of shaping Jewish teams. From Wapaka, Wisconsin to Berryville, New York, Mazel Tov Camp Tel Yehuda on being 75 years young. We can't wait to celebrate with you from the CYJ Midwest Board. Hi, my name is Maya Nusenau from Kibbutz Ktura. I went to Young Judea at the end of the 90s when I was 16. I want to say happy birthday to Machane Tel Yehuda. I had an amazing time. And let's raise a glass. 75 years old, amazing. Mazal tov. Zeh. Ani Zerka. Mazal tov, Matel Yehuda, Meki Buskura. On behalf of HGF and J Camp 180, uh, Mazal tov to the entire Tel Yehuda and Yam Judea community on turning 75. And may the next 75 years be as fun, as meaningful, and as impactful as the first 75. In other words, 250. Cheers. Congratulations and Mazal Tov to Tel Yehuda on the wonderful occasion of your 75th anniversary. I'm Lynn Davidson, the Hadassah National Young Judea Chair, and the very proud mother and mother-in-law of two TY alumni, as my daughter Lauren met her husband Danny at camp. And they are the proud parents of three future Judeans. Again, Mazal Tov and my best wishes for many, many more years of camping excellence. I'm Ari Kurtz, the board chair for Camp Judea in North Carolina and proud TY camper in 1989, 90, and 91. Congratulations, TY, on your 75th anniversary. Mazel tov. Oh. Happy 75th, TY, from CYJ, Texas. We miss you. Hi, Noah Allen here, TY alum from 1998 to 2001. Currently, I'm the board chair of Camp Young Judea Sprout Lake. Uh, and I'm sending a message and a toast to the entire TY community, to David, to Fanny, the board, the campers, the counselors, all the alumni, wishing you a hearty Mazal Tov and start kicking off the 75 years of Tayyahuda. It's a wonderful place uh, that we cherish both from Sprout Lake as we graduate Arbo Green into Tayyahuda. But on a personal level, uh, I still re remain in touch with so many of my friends from Tayyahuda. And remember 25 years ago, 
uh, when there was a celebration of TY in which David Broza performed and the infamous Broza stage was built. Mazal Tov, looking forward to celebrating throughout the year with you. Again, on behalf of Sprout Lake, uh, we cheers you and toast you and wish you many, many, many more years of success. Foundation for Jewish Camp proudly joins in saluting the Tel Yehuda community on 75 summers of leadership, friendship, and impact. L'chaim. I'm Greta Rothschild of Deerfield, Illinois, originally from Lexington, Kentucky, TY alum 1976 to 78. Mazel Tov TY on 75 amazing years of impacting and changing Jewish lives. As a lifelong Judean, YJG board member and member of Hadassah's National Assembly, I couldn't be more proud of how TY and Young Judea have shaped our Jewish youth and created strong leaders and Zionists around the world. Wishing you much success and growth for the next 75. L'chaim. Here's to tell Yehuda, the place where so many of us learned that Jewish heritage is not just a burden that we have to carry around with us, but indeed a way of life to celebrate. From romantic walks under the apple trees to intense games in the sports field, to heated debates at national convention and stimulating sichot. I learned so much at Tel Yehuda that I carry with me every single day here in Jerusalem as I represent you here in the Knesset in our shared efforts to make the state of Israel the homeland that we all dreamed of in TY. Congratulations. Shalom, everybody, from the Beit Am, live here at Camp Tel Yehuda. Some of your names might be behind me. Uh, I am so verklempt listening to all of these toasts, all of these um, recollections, and even our little tour around TY. It is an honor uh, to be here for my 15th summer as director of TY, holding on to the memories of the past and building a future together. I first came here in 1978 as a chaniach after spending time at Sprout Lake. Also met a girl in the field who eventually become my wife, Amy Itkin, and two kids, Mika and Kira. Oh, now I'm gonna cry. And um, this place um, is a home for so, so many of us. Um, I've spent 25 summers now at Tel Yehuda, 25 of those 75, and I love hearing the stories about the other 50 that I missed. Here we are in the Beit Am. This is a historic treasure. Whenever I show people this building and they walk inside, especially people who never grew up here, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe this place. Look at this, look what's going on here. This doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. We're gonna use some of this time to, to this next year as we celebrate to really collect the history of Tel Yehuda, the history of this place that starts in this building, but goes to all those people out there right now and the tens of thousands of people who are not here. We're gonna be launching a crowdsourced history project for Tel Yehuda. We're gonna be celebrating 75th, five years, and get on the road to 100 by writing down our history. Stay tuned later this summer to, to, as we unveil the TY History Project for how you can share your piece of the TY story with us and help us document our rich 75-year history. It's amazing we made this moment. So before I say uh, l'chaim, I wanna say a shechianu, because I'm sure the people who first started Tel Yehuda in, night, in Hendersonville, North Carolina, first sight of Tel Yehud in 1948, had no idea we'd make it 75 years. So Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Shechianu, V'kiyamanu, V'higiyanu, Lazman Hazeh, and a big L'chaim as we get on to the road to 100 and uh, continuing to change the world as we've been doing. Our kids are leaving tomorrow on trips all over the country, a whole bunch to DC to talk to their senators and Congress people and we're gonna continue doing the work on this road to 100. Aniva ata nishaneh ta'alam. Rami, give us some, give us some sound. L'chaim chaverim.
everybody. My name is Jerry Cohen Blitzer, and I was at TY from 1974 to 1976. And one generation later, my two daughters were also at TY as Honey Hot and on Sevet. Each of us has integrated the TY core values and leadership skills into our adult lives, expressed differently, but without TY, we would not be where we are today. As board chair for the 75th anniversary, I thank each of you for being here. This is just the beginning of a year long celebration and we want you to know that we've got a lot in the works. We're so lucky to have an amazing celebrations committee with Rachel and Jamie at the helm and committee members made up of the TY community spanning generations and geography. They are already putting the pieces in place for even more exciting opportunities to engage and connect with each other throughout the year. We would love your help and input. Reach out to connect with us directly. Feel free to email us at ty75 at tellyehuda.org. We will be so happy to connect, answer any questions or hear your ideas to help make TY 75th the best celebration ever. Coming this fall, we hope many of you will gather together with TY friends near you for a special Camp Shabbat at home. We'll make it super easy for you. All you will have to do is get together for Shabbat dinner with your camp friends at someone's house or a park or somewhere else. For that matter, you get to choose. We'll send you a special Camp Shabbat kit to make it extra special and extra TY. If you're in the New York City metro area on October 30th of this year, or please make a plan to be there if you can, we hope you'll join us for the Young Judea and Tel Yehuda annual benefit. We will honor Michael Berman and Natan Sharansky with a special celebration of the 75th anniversary of Tel Yehuda. Mark your calendars now and stay tuned for more details coming soon. Next summer, we'll see all of you for a big blowout bash at TY to celebrate the culmination of our 75th anniversary. Thank you all for joining us today to say L'chaim and helping to kick off our 75th anniversary with so many of you from our Tel Yehuda Kehila around the world. L'hitra ot L'chaim. One thing I like about TY is the people. My favorite thing about TY is making friends from all different places. Probably my favorite thing about Camp Tell Yehuda is how all the staff are amazing and they care for you and it really builds an amazing community at the camp. Uh, my favorite thing about TY is the community that I've built in the bunks and I feel like I've really made a lot of really good friends from this experience. One thing I love about TY is feeling like I can make a difference in the world. One thing I love about TY is being a leader. Here's, Here's to, to 75, 75 years. years. Here's to 75 years. Here's to 75 years. Happy 75th!